In this video, we'll create a vendor trade agreement. Before we create a trade agreement, we need to activate price agreements by going to procurement and sourcing, set up prices and discounts, activate price discounting. And we see already that all options for vendor, vendor group and all vendors are toggled to yes. Now to create a new trade agreement journal, this time we'll go back to procurement sourcing, price discount groups, trade agreement journals. And we'll click new to create a new journal. And we need to select a name for the journal, be it a price adjustment journal, and a default relation will be entered. Now we can create our lines. And for the account code, we can choose to apply to a specific vendor, which would be table, uh, a group, or all. So we'll choose group. For selection, we'll choose domestic vendors. The item code, again, can apply to a specific product, which would be table, a group, or all products. So we'll stick with table and that will give us a list of all available products. So we'll just choose this. Now, if required, we can specify a certain configuration with product dimensions here. We can also specify that the trade agreement applies to a specific site and warehouse. If we leave those blank, it will apply to all sites and warehouses. From two, we'll apply the journal to a minimum and maximum amount of the product. The unit will default to the product setup and the amount in currency will be the purchase price. In the details fast tab, we can enter a specific time frame for the journal to be valid. In price charges, we can add any miscellaneous charges the vendor may apply. This would be applied once per invoice, uh, whereas this obviously would be per unit. And as usual, if we have the find next toggle to yes, this will look for and apply any other relevant trade agreements. We can continue to add lines to this journal by clicking new. And once we are ready, we will validate all the lines. We can post the journal without validating, but this step will check the lines for us and warn us of any problems. So we see it is okay, the journal is okay. And now we can post the journal and we'll see the journal has been posted. Now we'll create another trade agreement journal and populate it with lines from existing agreements. So again, we'll click new, we'll choose the name, price adjustment journal, and go into our lines. This time, we'll click the select button which will give us the selection form and we'll stick with our price discount here. We can also filter for currency and time interval. And in the details section, we can choose to search for a specific vendor, group or all vendors. So we'll stick with specific and we'll have a list of our vendors here and we'll stick with this one and select. And this will find all the relevant trade agreement journals for that vendor and pull them into this journal where we can edit the lines if necessary. Then we can validate and post. Click OK. And all of those journal lines will be pulled into this new trade agreement journal and posted. Now, lastly, if we want to see what trade agreements are set up for a particular vendor and perhaps modify those journals, we can go back to procurement and sourcing. We'll go to all vendors 
and we'll choose the particular vendor that we want to have a look at. So we'll choose the first one, procurement and trade agreements. This will bring up a list of all the agreements. We can just select one and then edit selected lines. We can change the type of agreement here if required. It defaults to the sales price adjustment. And then we'll go through the same process as before of creating lines and posting.